Hey, how's it going? Steve here. And in this quick Photoshop tutorial, what I'm just going to do is show you how you can fix up some of the noise issues that you might start seeing when you pull a lot of detail out of the shadows in your image throughout each of the stages of your workflow. Because what I usually teach is to apply some of the noise reduction in Adobe Camera Raw. But of course, that usually happens right at the start. But what can happen as you're processing your images is that you, know, you can start to see a lot more noise towards the end as you push those pixels a little bit harder. So I've just got a test image on the screen at the moment where you can see here I've got this shadowy area where you know you can see there's a lot of noise, a lot of color noise, sort of green and reds in there. It wasn't until I'd kind of recovered the detail from those shadows in Photoshop that that noise started to appear. So the first and kind of most straightforward way to, uh, to get rid of this noise is uh, basically start off by creating a new layer. So uh, I'm going to press Command or Control A and then Command or control with shift and C and then command or control V and just that combination of keystrokes on the keyboard there has uh, made a, a copied merged layer and created a new layer there layer 2 so that's basically duplicated everything that I've got in this group here which is where I was just processing the image to get it to this point and made all those changes to one pixel based layer on top so I can then come up to the uh, filter menu and run uh, this filter here. Now you can turn this into a um, into a smart object if you want and then that means you can go back and adjust any of the filters that you add on top of this layer but I'm just going to do it quickly here first without going through that extra step. So um, let's go noise and reduce noise and we can see here let's just drag this across into this uh, into this sort of most affected area and yeah, these settings that I had on the screen here um, in the tool, probably from the last time I used it, they, um, yeah, they've done a pretty decent job there. So it's not perfect, but let's just compare this. So if I drag this strength all the way down to none, then yeah, you can see that's quite noisy. The color noise as well, if I stick that back in there, that's, that's really quite bad. So, you know, let's just crank that all the way up and put the strength up. Uh, seven seemed to work quite well. So this is just going to be a case of trial and error here, just uh, testing to see what works best for uh, each in particular image. So I hit OK on that. OK, now that's applied that and made those changes to this layer. If I just hide that and then, um, and then make it visible again, actually I'll just zoom into 100% so we can really see what's going on. So this is before, this is after. You can see hopefully the difference there. Now, obviously we don't want this to, uh, to affect the whole image because we're going to lose a certain amount of detail from areas that we don't necessarily want to lose detail from. So what I would do in most cases is just add a new uh, layer mask to this layer, invert it there. So with the black layer mask, we've in effect hidden this entire layer and then just grab a brush with a white foreground color and then just brush that in here. I've only got 30% opacity so I'm just going to have to do a few brush strokes. So just brushing in that noise reduction into the layer mask to, uh, to have that applied exactly where we want it. And then if I do the before and after on that you can see the difference hopefully. So this method you can use in pretty much all versions of Photoshop but I actually prefer the uh, the noise reduction that you can do with Adobe Camera Raw. So I think this feature only just came in in Photoshop Creative Cloud Edition. And what I'm going to do is just show you how you can actually use the noise reduction filter in ACR even after you've uh, even after you've processed your image and gone all the way through your workflow. So I'll just hide this layer, and I'm just going to create that copied merge layer again. So just with the keystrokes there. Stick that up on top, and um, yeah. So in the filter menu, you'll see hopefully this camera raw filter. Now all you have to do is choose that, and it's going to load this layer three into ACR, and you can use any of these same controls that you could use right at the start of your workflow, and yeah, you can just use them and apply them just to this one layer. So let's come to the noise reduction here, slide the luminance up a bit, and um, yeah, just basically do the same thing with the color just until the noise 
looks like it's uh, under control. I don't want to go too far, it's going to look a bit blurry. But just for argument's sake, let's say that this is a good amount of noise reduction. Let's hit OK there. And again, just wait for that to apply. And there we have it. That's the before and after on, um, on this layer here. And again, we can add that layer mask and get that brush and just brush it in where we want it so that we don't affect the rest of the image. Now, if you haven't downloaded it yet, what you can do is just click the link below this video and just enter your email address and then I'll send you a copy that you can download of my post-processing workflow cheat sheet. What that actually does, it gives you mapped out step by step each stage of my workflow that I use and the one that I teach to, uh, to everybody who has signed up to my mailing list. So like I said, if you haven't got a copy of that yet, then just click the link below this video and grab that now. And I will talk to you again soon.